Okay, I'm Ben Willings, and this is Kara Wines. She is the lead teacher at Northwest Elementary School in Cock County. And uh, we're going to talk about the books that they've purchased uh, to expand their classroom libraries. So, Kara, how has Northwest used your expanded classroom libraries to help your struggling readers? Okay, well, the first way that we have expanded our library is through building more levels. And most of our kids are on lower levels, such as like second grade or third grade. So, we kind of built on our levels versus being in middle school and not being on the grade level. Another way that we um, expanded our library is we're able to send books home with kids now. Um, most of our kids are underprivileged and they don't even have a library at their house, so they're able to read more material. Um, I can usually use the books in read alouds for my lessons, and I can expand on the different topics and the genres for the kids because we didn't have a broad... Yeah. yeah, So, so to summarize, you've added new topics and new genres to your classroom mm -hmm. libraries and you're able to meet your kids kind of where they are uh, mm -hmm. with the books that you had that um, some of which are a little bit lower than where a normal middle school classroom library would be and so you're able to kind of build your kids up through that. Correct, build them up to the level that they need to be on. Okay. Coach helped you in this process. Well, the first thing that my kids were really excited about is when they see Mr. Williams, they say, are there any more books for me? Because they cannot <laughs> wait to see him and have more books to read. It's, they just cannot get enough. They're, he does book talks with them, and they love to hear all the different books that he's excited about. And then whenever he comes in, they want to talk to him about it. And um, it kind of is giving them more choice of uh, what... Sorry for that interruption. Uh, and so you were talking about uh, how the coach has helped you with the books, and I think you were getting ready to talk about uh, how we were connecting uh, the new classroom library books to your teaching. Yes, so my lessons, I have a broader range of books that I can read with my kids, and Mr. Williams has been able to connect some books that I may have not thought about in the past to connect with the lessons that I already do. So he helps me a lot. <laughs> We, we haven't had these new classroom library books for very long, uh, but we've, uh, as you said a second ago, the, the kids were crazy excited when we walked in the door with them. Um, yeah. and, uh, and so you've seen some impacts now. So what impacts have you seen uh, through this? And then what do we look forward to in the future? Well, the biggest impact for me that I've seen are kids that didn't even want to look at a chapter book versus now they can't wait to read one or be the next one to read one. So it's really built their enthusiasm on what they wanted to read and the depth that they'll go. Um, another thing that we talked about a second ago is the students are actually talking to each other about the literature, which is very strange for me. <laughs> uh, but just to be honest, the kids are actually talking about the books and interested in the parts that are their favorite. So that's always good for me as a teacher to see them excited about what they're reading. And yeah, and sorry. We, we we built some of that enthusiasm through book talks, mm -hmm. um, but honestly, we didn't have to do a whole lot of book talks. Uh, we, we talked about, what, about seven books, I think, that first day, mm -hmm. and now they're just in line for, for basically whatever you have. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what do, you, what do you hope to see as we continue? Well, my biggest hope is that it, can, that it continues in general, just their enthusiasm and the, the fact that they, love the, that they love to read the books now. And they can't wait for to see new books, and they can't wait to take them home and be the next one to read it. There's a list for some of the books of who's going to read what. I have um, a sheet in my room now of which books that they're interested in because now they're becoming more aware of books in the world in general or things that they've seen that they didn't realize that was a book. So we've kind of gotten to that discussion as well. So I just hope that that continues and them asking questions and their um, self-discovery. Very cool. Well, thanks for talking to me today. No problem. Thank you.